Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year for Washington Union Elementary School. This is Whitney Brandt, your Washington Union School Principal. I know the return to school and distance learning is not something any of us have ever done before, but I also know that we are stronger together, and as a community, we will navigate this new situation and work together to grow with the flow. Since we have so many new topics to cover this year, this presentation is in lieu of our annual welcome back letter for parents. I know our incoming fourth grade students are excited to meet their teachers. This year in fourth grade, we have Ms. Dumbacher, Ms. Flower, and Mr. Doolittle. Many of our incoming fifth graders have already gotten to know the teachers through buddy classes, so they will see the familiar faces of Ms. Holdsworth, Ms. Hogue, and Ms. Moeller in fifth grade. Ms. Julian, our special education teacher, and her support staff will also continue to support the students by pushing into classes and running student support sessions. We also have one new staff member joining the Washington team this year, and that is our new speech and language pathologist, Karen Swedberg. Welcome to our team, Karen. Back to School Night will be held virtually this year. On the evening of Monday, August 17th, district administrators and board members will live stream a district-wide welcome back. This presentation will be similar to the large group gathering we typically hold in the amphitheater for our in-person back to school nights. There will be presentations from Superintendent Gina Uccelli, board members, site principals, Linda Jang, our art docent director, and Katie Linforth, our school counselor. Back to school night for fourth and fifth grades will be held on Thursday, August 20th. Teachers will offer two presentations, one at 6 p.m. and one at 6.30 p.m. This way, families with children in multiple grade levels will have the opportunity to attend both Zoom sessions. I know you have a lot of questions and are eager to meet your teachers and hear their plans. Since we are starting the year in distance learning, here are a few things that you can do to help support your child with at-home learning. I know that every family who is participating in distance learning has a unique set of circumstances that they are operating in. Some general guidelines for at-home learning include creating a quiet space for working and learning, providing guidance and support, establishing school routines that work for your family's unique needs, review technology expectations and online etiquette with your child, ensure their regular attendance and participation in Zooms, and please ask for help when you need it. This last one is the most important. Communication is key and if you run into challenges with scheduling, student work, technology, or social emotional concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to your teacher. We're all here to help, so please ask us if you need any assistance or have any questions or concerns. In the spring, due to the emergency nature of the situation, the state adopted a hold harmless grading policy and students were only evaluated on their participation and work completion. This will not be the case in the fall. Assembly Bill 98 requires that all fourth and fifth grade students receive a combination of synchronous and asynchronous instructional time of 240 minutes per day with live contact from their teachers every day. When we talk about our daily schedule, I will go into more detail about what you can expect in terms of screen time, independent work, small group, and one-on-one -on -one work. All of the work that students complete will be graded and content areas will be assessed. We will still have state testing in the spring as well. Instruction will be heavily focused around language, arts, and math, but you will also see in the daily schedule, there will be many opportunities for science, social studies, PE, art, and music. This schedule mirrors the daily in-person schedule that your student has been accustomed to in the past. Students will be assessed and will be given grades using our traditional report card grade. Along this same line, there will also be attendance requirements that have been set forth by the state. Last year, we operated in a hold harmless environment for attendance, but that also is not the case again this fall. Attendance will be compulsory and operate under normal school circumstances. It will be taken within the first 15 minutes of the day and continually monitored for participation and work completion. If your child will be absent or tardy, please let the Washington Union School know by calling Mrs. Sandoval, and you can also send a message to your teacher on Parent Square. 
Truancy can and will still be enforced by the Monterey County District Attorney's Office. Again, communication here will be key. Please do not forget to let the secretary know if a student is going to be absent so that we can continue with traditional attendance tracking procedures and policies. You can send Mrs. Sandoval an email or call the school to let her know. Teachers will use Google Classroom and Zoom as the primary communication tools with students and will use ParentSquare to communicate with their parents. Zoom links will be pushed out through Google Classroom, so following the proper technology requirements will be very important. Students will need a device at home. Please let me know as soon as possible if you will need a Chromebook for your student so we can prepare one for you. Make sure that they have access to their Google account. If you do not have access to your account, I can work with you if you reach out to me to help with password, resetting, or account setup. All parents should have access to ParentSquare, and again, if you don't, please let me know and I will make sure we can get you connected. Finally, all online programs will be facilitated by classroom teachers through the Google Classroom. I recommend that you log in as your student so that you can adequately monitor their progress, work completion, challenges, and successes. This allows an open line of communication between you, your student, and the teacher. Families that need Chromebooks will be able to pick them up from the multi-purpose room at Washington Union with the help of some of our classified staff on Thursday, August 13th and Friday, August 14th. Similar to the spring, you will check out a Chromebook and will pass them out drive through style from our multi-purpose room. Pickup will be available from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. each of those days. During the week of August 17th, we'll work to get other materials out to students. This will include textbooks, workbooks, novels, or other supplies the teachers will be sending home to start the year. The first day for pickup will be Monday, August 17th from 1 to 3 p.m. And on Tuesday the 18th and Wednesday the 19th, pickup will be available for school supplies other than Chromebooks from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. All supplies must be picked up by Wednesday the 19th. Students will be put into cohort groups that stay together in the event that we can make the return to hybrid learning and families will be placed in the same cohorts. Administration is working on finalizing class lists and those will be pushed out through ParentSquare as soon as they are ready. Now we will talk about our fourth and fifth grade bell schedules. Fourth and fifth grade will follow similar daily schedules that allow for a combination of synchronous and asynchronous learning opportunities for students. Synchronous means live instruction and asynchronous means independent learning opportunities such as videos, independent practice, or time spent practicing reading and writing. This schedule also allows for breaks for students during the day and is mindful of avoiding too much screen time. After core instruction in the morning, teachers will have office hours available for student help and support. We will continue to work to monitor the effectiveness of the daily and weekly schedules and can make adjustments to ensure that we have systems in place that allow our students to be successful, to not be too overwhelmed, and to have multiple points of contact with their teacher every day. On this slide, you can see fifth grade is set up similarly to fourth grade, with the main difference being the order of math and language arts instruction to ensure that our special education staff has the ability to push into virtual classrooms and support both fifth and fourth grade students and teachers. During the four hours of synchronous and asynchronous instructional time, teachers will have daily live contact with every student, either in a whole group, small group, or sometimes one-on-one. -on -one. We will also be monitoring attendance, engagement, and participation daily and tracking both attendance and work completion. Students will be required to complete assessments and will be given grades, so our expectations for teaching and learning are different than they were in the spring. Since we have many essential standards that need to be taught in order to ensure student success in learning, the variety of activities and multiple check-in points will allow students to regularly interact with their teacher and other students. The 15 minute window at the start of the day allows for some flexibility in getting logged on and ready for the day. 
I know that I've given you a lot of information, but hopefully I've answered some of your questions and you feel more at ease about this new school year. I am confident that we'll be able to get through this as long as we continue to communicate regularly about our challenges and successes and work together. We are available not just over Parent Square, but over the phone and email as well. Please don't hesitate to reach out to any of us if you have concerns. Mrs. Sandoval will also be on campus if you have questions as well. All of us want the students of Washington School to achieve success, and I know that you are eager to start the year and get even more information. There will be some new challenges this year, but also I know that we are a strong community and together we will get through this. It will be a year that we learn and grow together since this is something that none of us have ever done before or ever thought we would have to do. I'm looking forward to seeing my returning fifth graders and to meet my new fourth graders as we prepare to zoom into the 2020-21 school year. I hope you enjoy your final week of summer and I will be in contact with more information soon.